Hello and welcome to my new video. If you're new here, hi, I'm Lex and I am certainly dressed for the occasion today here in my frog dress. We are going to be touring a jungle resort island with all frog villagers. Tell me that's not the most iconic thing you've ever heard. This is the island of Dragonfly by Arden underscore crossing on Instagram. If you've been around my channel for more than like right now, you're probably familiar with Arden's work because she is the gift that keeps on giving. I recently toured her spring retro island. Um, she's in many of my inspiration videos. She's just really talented. So you can already tell by this entrance that it's gonna be a great island. We're already seeing two <laughs> frogs. This is just really, this is a good omen for this island tour. So yeah, let's get right into it. If you want to check out any of the custom design codes from this island, I will put the Pinterest board that Arden provided in the description so you can check it out. Let me pick up these gifts and I'll tell you what we have to work with here. I'm actually crying so there are two outfit options <laughs> and one of them is uh, some shorts with the frog tee and then outdoor sandals my favorite but you can also be a frog which is what we're gonna do. We are gonna do this. Look oh <laughs> my gosh you can be a frog. You can also hold boba which we are gonna do as well. I am ready for this island. Let's go. So immediately to the side here is the hotel on the island. Beautiful tile we've got going on here. I love these leafy patterns on the chairs as well. We will go into the hotel, but I just wanted to see this view too. This is the peninsula actually. So this kind of splits off the beach so that you can't just wander over the peninsula. I think this is really cool though. We've got like a deck up here so you can go and look out at the ocean. This is something you'd love to have at your hotel, you know? So I feel like that's really well thought out. I love that there is seating, lots of greenery. This is what you'd expect from a jungle resort. You definitely want it to be lush. Uh, Arden described it as teeming with vegetation and I already agree with that. Let's head into this hotel and see what's up. This is so well done. I love that she used a rug custom design in here. I feel like that really steps up the game. I don't like the in-game rugs for the most part in terms of the green ones. So I think that was smart. I love that there are butterflies around these plants. It's very outdoorsy. Obviously here is where you check in, which is so cute. I love this. I think it's so classy. We'll check up the upstairs first, actually, let's go. Oh, we've got like a penthouse lounge. You've got a little lookout here. This is a very mountainous jungle area. It's giving Hong Kong, you know. This is really beautiful. Again, I love the rugs in play here. This green rug actually works. I forgot about these. They're good. I usually use them in my bathrooms for some reason in Animal Crossing. I love the design here. I love the wood that's in use for the furniture. The stools are really fitting. This is just really nice. I also would never have thought to use the box sofas here. So well done. We've got a very luxurious little lounge for the hotel. I was just hoping that there would be like a spa kind of vibe here and there is in this very luxurious resort type room. You've got a little cypress bath here. It's so pretty. I think this is beautiful. Look at the details here, the colors, the lights are so pretty. This is just really well done. I mean, this is definitely a luxury stay. So that was the back room. This is the left room. If you are in the main, the main room that you go into when you enter the house, this is beautiful. We've got like an outdoorsy area. Again, definitely feeling the jungle vibes here. I love the plant themed furniture that's mostly in use. And I like this different bathtub option. Also, I did not mean to drink, but that's okay. Please don't disappear, my little boba. And here is the right room. I love this fake canopy that they've made here. Arden has done this with the pillars that you can use. This is so cool. I can't believe I've never done that before. What the heck? Do you ever see an idea and you're like, how did I not think of that? That's so clever. Again, loving the green vibes. This one is a little bit more toned down from the jungle aesthetic. It's definitely got a little bit more cottage core influence in my opinion. And I think that's cute. You want to appeal to different types of, you know, patrons when you're making a hotel. So I love the different vibes that the rooms have. This house is definitely a testimony also to how important it is to use the polishing effect. I never do. And look at how cute these little butterflies are. So that was the island house. That was beautiful. Um, if you're paying attention, tell me what your favorite room was. Mine was probably the first bedroom. Um, let's go back here now. There's so much to see. I don't wanna miss anything. 
back here, I'm following a guided map, by the way, that is on Arden's Instagram. This is the little restaurant area. Again, super luxurious. I love these tiles. They're different from the ones that we saw up at the hotel. Very colorful though. Here we have a beach too. So we've got beach seating with the froggy chairs, of course. Also, I'm so silly. Let's look at the map so we can see all the frog villagers. So obviously you can tell that this island is mostly custom design pathing, which I always appreciate, love to see it. We have got Drift, Wart Jr., Jambet, Cousteau, Henry, Jeremiah, Tad, Diva, Puddles, what a cutie, and Lily on this island. So Henry is my birthday twin, love to see it. I do wish that my very favorite frog, Frobert, was here though, RIP a king. Let's continue back here. I love the terraforming. It's like not overly done. Like it's not overly wrought terraforming. Look how pretty this is here at the river mouth. The little, the land that's left so that she could place the butterfly and the flower is really clever. It's really cute. We've got some animal life here. I don't know if that's an alligator or a crocodile, but either way, very scary. And then we've got a little bar up here, like a little tiki bar and it's at Nook's Cranny. So we've got Nook's Bar. That's cute. I love this banner here. I love that they have a pet cricket as well. Look at them go. Very cute seating. Love the lily pad table, bringing in some color here. I feel like I rely mostly on plants to bring in color for my islands, but this is really well done. And the festival umbrella. Look how cute that is. Next to the seating stop. You can hop across here to see the other shops, I suppose. Oh, look at this. Just a little lounge area. What the heck? This is so cute. And then, oh, a bike rental. Oh, I love that. What is this? A cycling shirt. Oh my gosh. The details here are everything. I love that vine as well. Very cute. I'm just kind of going through here. What is this? A dive-in movie stop instead of drive-in you get in the water you have these little seats i'm a frog so i can walk on water actually that's how it works i promise this is a dive-in movie you can sit on the water that is so cute oh my goodness you can buy some popcorn too at this little stand i love it here this is actually so creative. I have never seen something like a dive-in movie. Stop. Then we've got a little cafe here as well. Again with the froggy chairs. We love how well Arden sticks to the theme on this island. 12 out of 10. I love that she uses little details like these froggy chairs to make the island feel a little bit more cohesive. I don't know. I think that's such a nice little touch and it's so easy to do. I love the combination of colors too. Also, I just realized that we totally skipped over the secret beach, which is back here. This is a dive-in movie. I can't get over that. Look at this, a very private little secret beach. You know, there's a bike down there. Not sure if it's a water bike, but we love it. Very cute, very restful, relaxing. Okay, to the left of the cafe, there's this bridge. Again, I really love that the terraforming isn't overdone. It's just very simple and elegant. I love all the vegetation here. All the plants are so nice. So down past the bridge, we have this sushi restaurant. Of course, you'd have something like that here on an island. You know, it's a resort. You want some fancy dining experiences to offer your guests. I think this is really well done. I never would have thought to use this curved counter here, but it looks so nice. It really adds to like the elegant, you know, a nice feel of this restaurant. Coming down here, we've also got Abel's Souvenirs. This is so cute. So if you don't bring your jungle attire, if you lose your luggage on the flight over, Abel Sisters have you good to go. I love these displays, how they're like double displays. That's really smart. I love this item being used outdoors. Don't see that a lot. Henry, our local fashionista is also here, which just feels really, I don't know, accurate. I feel like that's right. That's correct. He should be here. We've missed a lot here. So up behind Abel Sisters, there is a spa. Here's Arden walking around. Arden says, welcome to the resort. Thank you, queen. I love her outfit as well. 
We've got dressing rooms up here, so if you're not changed, you're good to go. There is everything you need right here in the spa. I think these baths are so elegant too. Like, this is so nice. You are really paying for the best possible experience here. In this Cosmo shower, you can get washed off if you have sand and everything. Look at this. The bug on the tree is a paid actor. I'm so sorry, Arden, I'm shoving you around, but here behind the spa, there's actually bungalows back here, the garden bungalows. We get to see some more houses as well for the villagers. So you'll get to see like, these are kind of like the villas that you'd have here at the resort. But this is so cool. This is so pretty. The bungalows match too. I love that they're like edited to look good together. This is so nice. I want to stay here. I need to pay for a jungle resort vacation right now. Arden, why would you do this to me, actually? This is so pretty. You can have a little nature walk, and here's the dive-in movie. I'm never gonna shut up about this. What a good idea. Also, right beside Able Sisters, I've come back down from the spa, but right beside Able Sisters, there's a little truck where you can get tropical drinks, which is really cute. And then down here, I think we're gonna move into some more of the bungalows so to the left here we're gonna have the treehouse bungalows wait are they oh they are they're up there look at that that's so cool you can access it let me go over here to the incline oh this is cute too it's an ice cream shop stop and you can get slushies too i could really it's so hot outside where i am i could go for a slushie right now and Cousteau is enjoying the ice cream of course he would these are the treehouse bungalows. That's such a good idea also that Arden has employed here, having different themes for each of the sets of houses. So it's like, I don't know, it kind of reminds me of Disney World, how there are different like hotel themes. That's what you're going for here. This is the treehouse area. And then we saw the garden before. It's just, it's such a good idea. It's very hotel-y, you know what I mean? Like I love that attention to the theme, to making it feel like a resort. And then we've got the floating rock garden here. So here's the other river mouth going south. This is so pretty. I love people making cool like rock gardens, paying attention to their rocks. And we've got some surfing options down here on the beach, little rest and relaxation area again. I feel like the beaches are pretty simple for the most part on this island, but they're still really well designed. Like it all feels very cohesive to the theme. Then we've got water bungalows. Stop. Look at them. It's bungalows on the water. This reminds me of a specific place that I can't remember the name of right now, but you know what I mean, you know. Very popular on Instagram as a travel destination. And then up here is the campsite on its own little island. How pretty is this? I love that the campsite has its own island, actually. I feel like that's really nice. You're giving, you know, visitors a nice little a little experience. Maybe this is this counts as a, another bungalow opportunity. You know, you can also have your own private island. This is the most expensive resort option, actually. Oh, and here's Blathers as well. He's got his own little camping area over here. I don't know what the like island lore is, but in my own head canon, this is like an actual research area. So like. Even though it is a tourist destination, this resort also has, you know, very important flora and fauna that need to be studied. And then we're right here back at the resident services building. I want to make sure I didn't miss anything, so I do want to go back over here. Yeah, see, I did miss something. Here is a rest area. Look how cute. Again, very restful. And then, oh, we've got canopy bungalows over here. First of all, this view is immaculate. So much lush vegetation, it's beautiful. And yeah, you've got canopy balconies, I mean bungalows, with their own little private areas. This is so cute. Like I said, the attention to detail is wild. Also, for those of you wondering, I haven't forgotten my own tropical island, uh, Lotus Reef. Maybe I should just hire Arden to build it at this point, though, because what the heck? I'm going back over here because I realized I missed something on the beach over here. There is a dim sum place, so let me go find that. Okay, I've made it onto the 
beach. We've got some nice little lounge areas here. Oh, here's the pier too, the boat. Yeah, here's a dim sum restaurant. I personally love dim sum. I love dumplings in general. This is so nice. It's so pretty and elegant. And then we've got a little transport stop up here. Maybe boats can pick you up here. You know what I mean? My favorite thing about this island is definitely the different themes for the bungalows, like the villas where you'd stay. So smart, so clever. They're all so beautiful. I feel like each theme is done in a really unique and pretty way. I don't know. Remember to check the description for the custom designs and for Arden's Instagram. Definitely go check her out. She is so creative. This island is amazing, impeccable, 12 out of 10. I am finally motivated to actually work on my island. Definitely didn't take a million screenshots to use as inspiration. Look away, Arden. Thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next one. Go ahead and check out the spring retro tour while you're here. Bye.